Hi, today I'm gonna talk about uh, my new add-on font selector. So here the little uh, walkthrough to explain um, everything about it and how to use it. So um, first here the usual way to deal with fonts with Blender. Just add a text, go to the fonts and have to have to browse uh, to your phone director directory sorry uh, in your computer and like try to guess what will be the best font in this particular case it's uh, it can be a little tedious uh, especially when you work in light like, motion design and have to get a uh, direct uh, look at uh, at font to decide so I wrote a little add-on uh, which can be downloaded uh, at uh, my github um, you install it like every uh, blender add-on so when uh, when the add-on is installed you can uh, change the, the folder uh, for the preference of the add-on but by default it's in the config of uh, Blender and the current version. Uh, after that, uh, you have to add a font folder. You can add several font folders if you had uh, several uh, directory containing different fonts in your computer. So, uh, for me, I'm on Windows. So, when I install fonts, they are all here in the C, C Windows font. Accept. You can save your preference. So if you you install it and reinstall it, you don't have to do this again. Just have to load the prefs and boom, that's it. Uh, what it does, it store um, an external file in this folder. It's uh, basically a text file, so you can uh, edit it in uh, any text uh, text editor you you use. Um, save your settings, and here we go. So now you have a new font selection panel. For now, the list is empty because you didn't uh, you didn't search yet for fonts on this computer. So hit refresh. It will take a while to, to get the full list of your fonts and here it is. So basically you have a new file for the font lists and now we can just change in the lists to see what it does here. Uh, if you install or you install any fonts on your computer, uh, you you may not see it here because you have to hit refresh again to get the current fonts uh, at the moment. You hit refresh, uh, so don't forget that. But once you did it uh, one time, uh, you can like close Blender and launch the game, add a new font, a new text object, and now you just have the, the list uh, in it because it's read directly this list, so you don't have to do it several times. Um, you can also uh, remove your news font because uh, the add-on had to import uh, at least two fonts for one object in order to switch uh, between them uh, and, not, uh, and not mess around when you have uh, several text objects. So, so yeah, you can do that if you don't want uh, 
to have data blocks with zero zero users. So okay, and you can also uh, apply um, favorites and filter by favorites like uh, like this. Uh, what it does is the same as usual. You have your favorites here, so you can refresh it. It will uh, keep the favorites, uh, favorites fonts. Um, how uh, the way you you did them, and yeah, it's uh, it's pretty pretty useful to don't have um, to scroll in uh, this huge list of fonts to search for one. Um, okay, that's about it for the basic uh, the basic uh, functions of uh, the add-on. An extra function I recently added is uh, an export function. You can export your favorite fonts. So just choose a folder like my desk desktop export favorites and when you go here you have your favorite font here and you can open it and yeah that's pretty useful to to move to another uh, workspace or workstation and keep uh, keep track on your on your fonts so here it is and the uh, last thing you should know it's um, when you add a folder, uh, the folder can uh, can have subfolder in it. The add-on is going to check all the subfolders, so don't worry if you are on Linux and have a um, master folder called fonts and beneath uh, several fonts folder for uh, I don't know A B C D. Like somebody tells me, uh, told me, sorry, on a uh, on Blender artist forum, uh, you can, uh, it can work too. So here it is. I hope uh, this add-on could be useful for some. It's already useful for me. And, uh, and yeah, CNCs are always welcome.